a, a good example is airline Wi-Fi. 15 years ago, you used to get on a plane. You just accepted the fact, hey, I'm just going to load up my Outlook or I'm just going to watch a movie. And then once I get you know, an internet connection, then it'll blast those out or I'll, I'll just reconnect. Well, once we got comfortable and used to airline Wi-Fi, that became an expectation. And now, you know, for those of you who have gotten on a plane, I haven't gotten on a, since actually I was in Miami in February. Um, but, you know, for those who have or when we get back on planes, there's an expectation that I'm going to have internet service. I'm going to be able to work. And if, if that's not met, I'm upset. I'm not happy. And that's one of the things where I think the blockchain community has struggled to do well is think through, truly understand the, the, the core user expectations and the dimensions and meet them where they're at. 